Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd do a video on the UK's most haunted woods, some might say. So uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about the things that have been claimed to have happened at these woods. So uh, UFOs, feelings of being sick, murders, strange mists, dark figures, poltergeists, black-eyed children, ghosts, witches and satanists. To start off with uh, this area of Sussex has been habitated for about 2,000 years. Surrounding this area are the likes of Chanctonbury and Sisbury Hill Forts, also Harrow Hill and Black Patch Hill and uh, there's also another hill fort uh, just north of Muntham Court which features or used to feature a Roman temple. Yeah, quite a lot of activity in this area. So it all started um, to be recorded in the 1700s when a lady uh, apparently saw a moon-like light descend down into the woods. Following that there was uh, a lot of people experiencing strange uh, sicknesses and illnesses. We then fast forward to the 1960s when again there was a lot of UFO sightings, strange lights in the sky, saucer shaped craft, boomerang shaped craft sin over the area and uh, this attracted a lot of UFO hunters who would be wandering around in the woods late at night uh, trying to find or spot these UFOs. In doing so they would often spot other things like dark figures and uh, like a strange grey mist that would appear in the area. And there's also been sort of um, sightings of ghosts and fairies supposedly again in this woodland. So one of the stories about the UFOs is that a, a, a couple of local lads in Rustington were doing a Ouija board and uh, they reportedly had got in contact with some people, a energy that said that basically UFOs were landing and they were extracting uh, sulphur and uh, other chemical supplies uh, from the area. This certainly would explain um, some of the bad smells and possibly reasons for people feeling sick. So uh, we then sort of fast forward a little bit later to the 70s and 80s and 90s. So at, at this point we had a spate of uh, deaths in the woods. First of all a unidentified identified a young lady who had died in the area and this was being investigated by a ex-marine and local policeman Peter Goldsmith. He went missing and uh, six months later his body was found in the woods. They, weren't unable, they were unable to identify how he had been killed. Then in 1975, a tired guy again uh, went missing and three weeks later his body was found in the woods. Then in 1978, the Reverend for the church at Clapham again went missing and his body again was found in the woods three years later. And finally, a homeless girl called Gillian Matthews. Again, her body was found in the woods 
as she had been raped and strangled. Again, around this sort of time, people were reporting missing animals. Supposedly, sort of 100 animals went missing in quite a short space of time. Uh, mainly dogs, but also horses as well. Um, we also got animals that were having strange things happen to them, either feeling ill, barking for no reason, and uh, some of them got paralysed as well and had to be uh, sort of taken to vets and, and sort of finally died from their, their injuries. All of this uh, caused a local investigator and councillor Charles Walker to be looking into what was going on in the woods. Um, he sort of uh, walked through the woods a lot of times trying to catch people doing things, uh, seeing things, obviously suspected some kind of Satanism. He'd also been investigating the same sort of things happening up at Chanctonbury Ring. And uh, one night he got a call on his telephone from a male who said if he wanted to find out what was going on he would have to meet him in half an hour in a part of the woods called the Chestnuts and uh, he went to the woods probably not the wisest idea uh, went to the woods alone and after 20 minutes of waiting around he heard a voice from behind him male voice told him not to turn around and it would be um, dangerous for him to try and identify this tipster. So he explained that there was a group called the Friends of Carte. Carte is a Greek goddess it's, uh, dedicated to dogs and also the crossroads which is where this meeting was happening um, in the chestnuts and this group was made up of people in high places holding positions of power these people in positions of power would not tolerate interference and would stop at nothing to ensure the safety of their cult The voice went away as quickly as it came and uh, yeah, Charles was warned off but he carried, to, carried on investigating. Other people from the local area would come and help him investigate and on one of these investigations they were entering the woods just north of the church. Uh, you sort of go through the churchyard over a sty, through a horse's field, and there's another sty. When they tried to cross that sty, Charles Walker's wife was with him at this uh, time, and she was pushed over the sty, or off the sty, onto some barbed wire, badly cut, and uh, they had to cancel the investigation. Um, apparently the cut healed in the shape of a cross, and on the anniversary of the injury the scar would become itchy and, and painful so uh, yeah strange they carried on investigating and um, found there was to be hides one near this sty um, quite significant in its size and this is potentially where some of the animals had gone missing also in the area near there, some other investigators found a barn which they managed to gain access to and supposedly there were some satanic paintings in this barn, possibly to do with this uh, cult of Hecate. But this is all um, second-hand information so I can't really sort of qualify any of this. Certainly when people have done ghost investigations in this area they have tried talking to the locals who are very uncomfortable 
talking about this and we'll sort of uh, go very tight-lipped certainly also on watching a lot of the investigations people do commonly report this feeling um, of nausea bad headaches uh, feeling sick there's a particular bench just to the north of the church north uh, west of the church which I think people generally say in that area they feel very ill also I've seen some investigators report of children seen in the wood with black eyes again unsubstantiated no pictures of any of this uh, there are quite a few pictures of um, some of these grey mists in the woods kind of look like just mist to me though to be honest I'm not convinced by um, any of that um, there's also a um, ghost story uh, surrounding the Toll House to the north of Clapham Woods Supposedly on 12 o'clock on Halloween you'll see a ghost of a stage horse and coaches come through there. Not been there at that sort of time to, to confirm it. So, Moving on to some of the sort of local people, there's a, a local guy in Worthing called Ray and he has a channel on YouTube called Ray's Ghost Stories. I'd recommend you go and listen to them he talks about going to these woods on several occasions and meeting a ghost girl in the woods a very pretty young girl dressed strangely as he would describe her with no shoes I won't ruin the surprise if you go and have a listen to his channel it's quite interesting things in there also from my sort of younger days I didn't put it together until recently but just to the south of the woods near the Coach and Horses pub uh, on the main road there used to be a haunted house supposedly um, it always looked derelict when I saw it and uh, I was never keen to be getting in the house with with ghosts so not something I personally experienced but it was a sort of local legend about this uh, haunted house it's it's long gone but again around the same sort of era again just to the south of these woods is the one of the main roads that comes into Worthing uh, called Titnall Lane and uh, supposedly there would be a, a ghost girl on Titnall Lane Again, I've driven that road hundreds of times, never seen her. Um, supposedly she stands in white by the side of the road and uh, there's a patch of flowers that grows there every year where um, supposedly she died. Um, so, um, yeah. Now, going on to my own experiences in the woods, Near here is uh, another part of Clapham called Patching Woods. It's part of the Clapham area and uh, when filming um, a video in those woods I experienced what, something unusual. can't necessarily say it was a ghost but something unusual. I won't go into detail that again you can go back on my channel and have a look at, look at that video if it uh, interest you and last of all I want to talk about the witching tree it's the large tree seen at the start of this video and it seems to be a sort of focal point for a lot of the witchcraft in the area often when people visit the witching tree um, you'll find there's offerings in the root bowls, strange markings on the bark, things like that. Nothing ultra sinister. Interestingly, it's also at a, a crossroads. Yeah, very important to this uh, 
Colter Fricate. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put a couple of clips in at the end of uh, this um, of a couple of mediums talking about the tree and uh, what goes on at the tree. Given the things I've just sort of said throughout this video, it would be quite interesting, I think, for you to hear that and me repeating it back, I'm probably going to lose some of it within it. So I'm just going to put those clips in at the end. So um, I think that's about everything I can uh, mark off about the woods. I mean, certainly I have had some strange feelings within the woods. Um, some of it is probably psychological because you know you're in an area where it's uh, yeah, very isolated as you've probably seen from the footage I've just been up on the screen there's it's a very uh, sort of uh, lonely area it's not highly walked um, so you do feel a little bit isolated within the woods but generally on the eastern side of the woods there is a, a strange eerie feeling and it also is very very quiet almost devoid of animal life um, it's not completely devoid there are sort of birds and animals around but it can be very sort of quiet over on that part of the woods I'm not quite sure uh, why maybe it's just yeah not, not as traveled as the other parts of the wood and the animals um, quieter don't know. So um, I'm going to finish up here. Um, if any of you have been to these woods and uh, got stories of your own, please pop them in the comments down below because I'd be interesting to, to read your own personal experiences um, about Clapham Woods and whether you think that this is the most haunted woods in the UK. One last thing actually before I sign off the inspiration for me making this video is uh, another death within the woods so um, one of my friends told me that uh, she had been walking up in these woods and uh, whilst walking she came upon some people who said that the police tape had been cleared um, and someone had hung themselves in the woods. So, don't know any more detail than that, um, but tried looking to see if there's anything been put in the newspapers and there's no record of a death or suicide within the area. So found that quite interesting that um, yeah, someone had died in the woods and yeah, the general public weren't made aware of this other than by sort of uh, cordoning off the area whilst they carried out the investigation. So uh, supposedly no uh, uh, ill intent was uh, was found, but yeah, just thought it was interesting. Someone had died and uh, not been put on record. So yeah, so if you have enjoyed this video, if you could like and subscribe it will help me to make more videos just like this just come round in the darkness and found you behind this massive tree here um, are you picking up on anything at all around this area when well, well, I say picking up on something what I am sensing is the vibration of the tree itself so I've kind of been tapping into the the tree's energy to find out a little bit about some of the area because you know again it is a very interesting tree contrary to I don't know maybe what supposedly gone on around this I actually feel very at peace with this tree very calm very relaxed but when I'm tapping into the energy of the tree there's this sense of I wanting to say it's like the tree saying I wanted to stop I wanted to stop so there's a sadness with the tree yeah and that's a little bit conflicted because at one point I'm feeling very comfortable standing here with the tree. Yeah. I'm feeling you know, very calm, very at peace, but I'm also sensing this, oh, I don't know, this negativity with the tree or this, it's almost as if the tree, like I say, the tree is saying, I want it to stop, I want it to stop, I wish it would all go away. Yeah. So I don't know what 
has sort of taken place around here, but it's something, I'm not getting the sense of anything negative here, far from it, this is certainly not a negative spot, no. contrary to what anything may have been believed in the past. I'm not sensing that, but I do sense from the edge of the tree that there's something that takes place around here, but the tree is like, I want it to stop because I'm at a place of peace. This is a place of peace and I don't want it here. There's a focal the point, yeah. I mean, yeah. Obviously, I just imagine the tree is a focal point of some sort. The only thing, Paul, I did sense as I was walking around the roots of the tree yeah. was I kind of felt, and obviously we're in the dark, so I can't go, I'm not going to go rummaging around on the ground and start digging holes, but I kind of felt as if I wanted to kind of dig holes in certain places right. for whatever reason. And I felt, as I sort of went down, I felt as if I had blood on my hands. Right. Okay. I can't explain that, but I just felt in a certain place I kind of wanted to dig up underneath the roots. Whether something has been sort of buried underneath there for whatever reason, I don't know. I'm not saying this is a human body far from it. Yeah. Um, but it just feels as if things have kind of been buried there or... But I just felt as if I had blood on my hands and I... And the other thing I said, like I was saying to him, I asked him about is I pick up literally human sacrifice in the way of pagan. Mm -hmm. But it's to become part with the tree, to become one with the tree. You know? Mm -hmm. Almost voluntary, not... Which it would be. Yeah, not murder. That, you know, voluntary. Mm. To join with the tree is the exact words. It's, it's definitely, yeah. It's like standing in the center of a circle. And you're surrounded by people. By people. All around you. There's lots of things about this that I couldn't, that don't add up to me. Right. Um, lots of kind of unanswered questions and all the time walking around there it's I know little, I've been hearing little snippets and I thought no it just doesn't seem right there's something that's not right and so I came as we came down here and I got to this point and I was still asking the questions what's going on what's going on this this isn't satanic rituals right. this this isn't anything to do with this I'm pretty certain I could be wrong but I'm pretty certain this is all to do with personal power so there is whatever this group whatever takes place here is to do with it's not about worshipping the devil this is about worshipping the earth and, and the energy and, and the universe and it's all about bringing in wealth and power so this this group of these people that are here are, to do, are I'm sensing that are pretty sort of fairly wealthy people and it's all about maintaining that wealth and keeping that wealth so it's not about worshipping the devil in order to do that it's about worshipping you know the earth energies and, so and the bit, universe. So it's a bit of self-indulgence then? Um, I'd say it goes a bit more than that. Right, okay, I'd but, say it goes much more than that. Okay but on a, on a sort of layman's terms it's them sort of they're they, they, are, they are practicing. They're practicing. They, it, to me, I'm getting the impressions of them practicing rituals um, in order to increase and maintain their wealth. So what they're doing is they they're continually helping themselves to, to to keep the flow of wealth coming into them. So they're maintaining the power. It's all about personal power.